When we're using a movie clip object in Flash, there are lots of properties that we can use to manipulate the different values. For example, when I position an object on the stage, I'm defining what its x and y coordinate is. The x and y coordinate, if you remember, when I select the object in the Flash application, I can change its position and size using the controls here. Now, when I actually want to use this in ActionScript, I'm going to be accessing the properties of the particular instance. Now, that might seem like it seems it might seem a little complicated, but it's actually really easy. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my timeline here. I'm going to select my frame that has the script that I have that I created earlier. I'm going to take this code out temporarily, and I'm going to create some new code that's going to actually manipulate the uh, location of this particular circle instance. If I select the circle, I need to remember that the instance name that I created for this is called my circle. I need to use this instance name when I start manipulating the different properties of this of the circle. Okay, so let's go back to the script. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make I'm going to show the trace statement and show just to make sure that where I actually can access the circle. So I'm going to use a trace statement here, and I'm actually going to use my circle. You'll notice this time I'm not using any quotation marks. That's because I'm not sending a string of text to the trace statement. I'm just actually accessing the object my circle. So now I'm going to I'm going to save this. I'm going to run it again just to show you what happens. Now, if you notice, I have the object displayed in the on the preview here, but at the bottom in the ob, in the output panel, I have a some text that says object circle. What this means is it's trying to take the object itself and trying to send that to the console. Now, I can't. A console only contains text. So what this shows is that it's it's being able to access my circle, and be able to uh, send this to the output console. This is just verifying that it's able to access the object and everything's working okay. Now. Generally, you're not going to be outputting an entire object like that. What we're going to be doing is actually accessing the different properties of the circle itself. One of the properties that you can access is the x coordinate. To access properties, you always are going to take the instance name and add a period after it. Once you've added the period, you can then access all the different properties that are associated with that object. In this case, let's access the x property, which represents the x coordinate. You'll notice that rec recognized properties of objects are represented in blue when you're using the Flash application. This is a visual cue so that you know that you're typing in things correctly. Sometimes with some of the more complicated uh, properties, there are some spelling errors that you could in inadvertently make. The color coding allows you to make sure that you're accessing the correct properties and that you avoid spelling errors. So in this case, I have an x coordinate that I'm going to access for this particular instance. And if I go back, let's just see if we, if we can find out what it probably is going to output. So I'm going to select the object, and according to the Flash application, my x coordinate for this is 43. So let's actually see if the action script is going to do this correctly. So I'm going to go back and select my, my frame here, and I say mycircle.x. So I'm going to be accessing the x coordinate, and I'm going to run this. There. In the output pattern, you'll see that it displays the number 43. That's because it's accessing the x coordinate of the object and it's sending that out to the output panel. Another one you can access is the y coordinate. So let's create a new line. And then instead of x, let's access y. When I run this, I get two numbers, 43 and 39. What we're doing is we're accessing the properties. What we can do now is we can then manipulate and change these properties after we've actually been able to access the object.